So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? Another painting? This would be a good time for us to figure out the, the locked thingy here too. Find the nightmare. Oh. The Book of the Mortimer family. Okay. What do you mean the Book of the Mortimer family? Like their family tree or ancestral origins? Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> I hate this. Is that a box I can open? No. Lord Mortimer- Oh, he's not here! Wow, is it okay that we're just here like this? A family ancestor, apparently. It's another Mortimer. A painting about a siege dated. Whoa, it's bouncing me everywhere. that can happen is we get drunk. We have 20,000 golden elixirs. It's fine. Hmm. Might come in handy. Steal it. <laughs> we don't even know what it is. We're just taking it. What the heck? Could be poisonous. More letters. The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Oh. Ah. This must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. Not yet, Louis. There's plenty of things we haven't looked at yet. Oh, shoot! I don't think this book can help me. Oh, I thought that was the mechanism. That really scared me. Whoa, what? Okay. Attack on Titan? No, no, what have we got here? Oh, it looks like a model. A model of a lock. It's as if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. That seems to be the mechanism. Let's take a closer look. The dessert the most in vogue nowadays? What? Tell yeah, just take it. Dark chocolate beans. Very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. Are they now? I love dark chocolate. Okay. Accounts for the year 1792. Whole bunch of stuff. Remember to reduce wood consumption next year. Okay. Mr. Dear Mr. Guido Poletti, I'm writing with regard to the dates of the paintings that I sent you for your temporary exhibition. Please note that they are part of my private collection and are dated according to the Freemasons calendar AL in use at the time. As you may well have guessed, you must remember to subtract 4,000 years if you don't want the public to be surprised. What? At the dating of the works. No need to remind you that the Freemason year AL begins in March, not January. About that Longinus painting, I took the liberty to have the spear touched up so it better corresponds to the actual spear. I cannot urge you strongly enough to do the same for yours. Yours sincerely. Lord William Alexander Mortimer, Marquis of Westfordshire. The dates. Freemason's calendar? AL? How old is that? Subtract 4,000 years. Wait, what? This is just a different calendar, right? Yeah, I think so. For a second, I thought it was implying that Mortimer came from 4,000 years in the future or something. <laughs> I know we most likely have different people taking this one name, but maybe... Maybe time travel is a little bit too much, even for the council. <laughs> yeah, we still haven't opened this case yet, but I don't know 
they gave us no hint at all, and I don't know what four-letter word is dear to Mortimer. So I think we'll just have to leave it alone or brute force it. A Chinese coin. Four choices times four letters. That's a lot of choices. Can we go back down? No, we can't go back. All right. Well, the only thing we really have left here is... This is suspicious. Hmm. Nope. No mechanism here. I'm- yeah, it's the thing under his desk, pretty sure. But I do want to try to open that... locked thing first. Where is it? I think... It's all circular, I can't tell where I'm going. There's gotta be a word here. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Okay. I'm gonna try to just stab at this for a while. Let's see. It's really weird. No matter what I change it to, nothing happens, right? But when I change it to case, it always does that pause. So it really makes me think that case is the correct one, but we just can't do it right now because maybe we're doing it a little bit too early. Fine, fine, I give up again. I give up. Let's try and see if we can just move on here. Anything else? Dude. I wish Lord Mortimer had more jellies or something. Oh, what about the other paintings? On the other side? Oh! A minor bird. <laughs> oh! Well, Waldo, is your master good? Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? Oh, let's try feeding it. A minor bird. What if we kill it? Do birds... Is chocolate poisonous to birds? Oh? Well, Waldo, is your master good? <laughs> I don't really know what I was expecting. Something different? Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? What? Repeat that, Waldo. Sarah... What about Sarah? Good God, what's been happening here? Oh my God. Wow, this is so cliche! Oh my god, at the crime scene, there happened to be a parrot that recorded everything. I love it, I love it. Um... I don't want to kill it. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Man, what have I done? It looks like I've killed him. Oh, shit. I better not hang around. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. This game loves to give you choices that end in horrible consequences. That's okay though. Well, it's not okay because we killed the bird. But we did get the information before we killed it. Yes, I should have used science, but nobody's got the effort points for that, okay? I'm really... <laughs> I'm really sorry, Lord Mortimer. <laughs> Please forgive me. That's such a not hidden mechanism, though. Aha, I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? A ring lock now? Great, that's all I needed. Oh, the letters. The letters. Remember to reduce wood consumption next year. Wood consumption? 9227... A...L... Okay, well, my first thinking is 9227 minus 4000. 5227?
This is huge. This is not discreet at all. Five, two, two... Seven. Watch the... Notice something. I hope it works. Well, I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there's no consequences, right? There's no consequences, right? <laughs> okay, well, it has to do with the letters for sure. Oh? This painting isn't finished. And it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but you can't exactly say it's been done in the style of the period. That wasn't highlightable before, was it? I don't think so. Hey, there are two dates on this painting. Oh. 1154 AD and 5154 AL. We don't have the effort points to waste on this, okay? I'll just try them both. 1154? 5154? Wait, AL! AL! 5154 minus 4000. 51, okay. 5154 minus 4000. 1154. Oh, but that's... Oh, these two dates are exactly 4,000 years apart. Oh, that's what the letter was talking about. Hey, before you put it up, change the years so that people aren't surprised. What about this one? Coup de Lons by Paul Rubens. The Longina Spear? Yeah, you see it there. Do these paintings have anything new to offer? William Alexander Mortimer I, the twelfth month of Analusis, 5,190. Analusis. Funny date. Whoa, there's so many dates here. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta write all of them down. So earlier we had 1154. And now, could you tell me that date again? Difficulty 5. Interesting. Interesting. 5190, did you say? William Alexander Mortimer I, the 12th month of Anna Lucis, 5190. That's a funny date. Maybe we can minus 4000 for this one too. Especially because this is a painting of Mortimer. A painting depicting the Third Crusade. It's titled Winter Before the Fall of Saint Jean d'Acre. Free. The siege of Saint Jean d'Acre. It was a major conflict during the Third Crusade. Richard the Lionheart and Philip Augustus fought to take the town back. It was the Crusaders' first operation to take back the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Louis knows a lot, so sometimes he just gives extra context to this, but it's not related to solving the puzzle. That's pretty much what I've been noticing so far. Hmm. This letter, it was talking about the painting to our right. I took the liberty to touch up the spear. That's the other painting. Let's try Lord Mortimer's painting's date first. Now, what have we got here? No. Well, it looks like a model. A model of a lock. As if Five. Mortimer's fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. 5190. Doesn't work. Now we try 1190. I was pretty sure it was right. Maybe I didn't use the right dating system. <laughs> you just gave it to me. <laughs> Thank you, though. Doesn't work, damn it. I really thought I was close. 1190. Isn't the right date when you subtract 4000? I must have missed a subtlety. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're still not done here. I thought we had it for sure. 1190 isn't right? 
What else could we be missing? We learned from this letter that you subtract 4,000 to get the date in our date system. No need to remind you that the Freemason year begins in March, not January. Is that related? Okay. William Alexander Mortimer I, the 12th month of Annalusis. 5,190. 12 months. funny date. 12 months. What did it say about... Maybe we're going back or forward by one year. Because the years are not... Let's add one more. Boom! <laughs> Woo! Open sesame. <laughs> Did it without wasting effort points. This whole mechanic is really forcing me to be a little bit more resourceful. This is a secret room, no doubt. Dear Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that our plans in Poland are set to fail. Russia and Prussia are working in cohort to bleed our dear Poland. We have no power here. We continue to maintain pressure as best as we can on the Prussian border, as agreed, in order to occupy Frederick William's army. But I do not know how long we can keep it up. Elfried Bauer. Can I Google who this person is? Are they someone famous in history? Because I'm guessing they might be. Elfried Bauer. Maybe not. Someone German? Maybe the German officials? Dear Lord Mortimer, I am writing to ask you to persuade President Washington not to sign the Fugitive Slave Act as it stands. We must absolutely legislate on a national level and not allow every, sla every state to choose their policy regarding slaves. It was initially intended to resolve a conflict between Pennsylvania and Virginia. By signing it, we risk legislating the hunting of blacks. More and more men of little faith are becoming slave hunters, and unable to find any slaves on the run, they kidnap the first black they come across, which they pass off as the wanted runaway. The situation threatens to quickly degenerate. Thank you in advance, your friend John Adams. Say hello to my daughter Elizabeth for me. I think the point they're trying to make here is that Mortimer is really involved in pretty much every single little thing in the world. He really is like a world leader, oh my god. But why? What's the power that he holds? Oh. My lord, I hope this letter will reach you. My hours are numbered. My printing house has been confiscated and I'm imprisoned in the fortress of Schlisselberg. If by chance you could intervene in my favor, I would be eternally in your debt. The Tsarina Catherine should not be long in banning all Golden Order lodges from her territory. Our horizon has become considerably darker. In the hope that you can help me, your friend, Nikolay Novikov. Again. Oh. Were you supposed to say that, Louis? Thank you. Moreover, it shows a fair number of sea voyages being organized towards the American continent. <laughs> no doubt with slaves. How many men are broken in this trade? Tens of thousands each year, according to what people say. It shows the forces present in Africa. This is unexpected activity in this sector. It looks like there are also many unknowns, even for Mortimer. Is this really relevant to what we're looking for, or just some backstory on what Mortimer is doing? Weakness of the Human Psyche by Guillaume Trimor. Hmm. He says, 
It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in and goes on. There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. <laughs> the author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way, is he? This really sounds like some Illuminati thing. <laughs> What's the trait that we just picked up? Here? No. Shepard. You read the book about the weaknesses of human psychology. Oh, and now I gain one point in manipulation just for that. The gift has been delivered. Timur Shah Durrani, King of Afghanistan, of Punjab, of Sindh, of Mashhad and of Kashmir should not retain his title much longer. His son, Zaman, will succeed him as planned. We will then be able to resume negotiations. K. All sorts of different countries, all related to Mortimer. My dear friend, with thanks for your services rendered and help in the fight against the Spanish and the conquest of Oran, Oran. a ship bound for Marseille in France has been chartered. Hidden aboard are a few corpses infected with the plague that is decimating our country at this moment in time. Be very careful when handling these boxes because if misadvertently opened, you risk spreading the disease all over France. Are you implying that even when there were plagues in history, it was planned by Mortimer? And company? Holy crap. This shows the forces present in America. How come I got a free one earlier? Fine. Some of those forces are pushing toward the west. On it, Mortimer's placed little feather symbols at different points toward which the Spanish are headed. Could he be fueling Indian resistance to slow down Spain? I feel like I've mentioned this before, but history is really not my strong point. So I'm just gonna assume that this guy is really in on pretty much everything in the world. Ooh. Let us see if you have the courage to face me alone. This is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but... But where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is his stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm... I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. The garden. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. But you're not the only one who's seeing this for the first time, right? Like, Mortimer has probably already seen this. Are we to think that he wasn't able to solve it and he's bringing me here so I can solve it for him? Because in that case, it feels like Mortimer is probably gonna hurt my mother. Oh, Lord. My dearest Lord Mortimer, as a friend of China, rest assured that you will be rewarded for your information. You need not worry about any scheming against us from Great Britain. Their representative, Mr. McCartney, will leave with no hope of any arrangements involving us. Your friend, Chan Long, Emperor of the Qing Dynasty! That? Oh no, it was the 1700s, so that could be the Qing Dynasty. My dear friend, thank you for your words and I do understand your situation. I regret having to confront you militarily, but if the situation obliges me to declare war, then do what you think fit. Under your advisement and with a wary heart, I am off to meet up with a coalition that opposes you. In the hope of serving you again, George, King of Han Hanover, King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. In the hope of serving you again, they're not even just equals, everyone thinks Mortimer is like a god. shows the forces present in Europe, it's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However, a large number has been underlined in bold. 26 million. I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. There's some weird Illuminati thing going on, plus occult stuff. Ah. Oh. 
Ah, uh, I don't want to... It's fine. Fine. I don't think this will actually yield us anything, though. Maybe I want to save that, because we are fairly low on resources. William, whatever your projects, it would seem that our father is against leaving you with a grip on Europe. Russia will soon commit itself to the coalition against your dear friends. Don't think you can resist for long. I beseech you, William, not to persist. You are tearing our family apart. Your loving brother, G. P.S. I shall come over to your conference, but do you think that holding it at the present moment is conductive? Wait, who's his brother? G? Does that mean it's someone here? Gregory Holm? Mortimer? What nationality is Mortimer anyway? Uh, where's Mortimer? Mortimer is here. Have we read this? Lord William Alexander Mortimer. Extremely rich English aristocrat. Right, right. Uh, so he's English. Gregory Holm is English. They're good friends. George? G! G could be... Gregory Holm. George Washington. Manuel Godoy? That could be anybody. Oh. I'll look at that in a sec. Lovely. Sir, your plans to intervene in Belgium are to go ahead a set down. I am to occupy the Prussian army. Your delivery of cannons to Valmy has ensured our victory. As agreed, I have notified the King of Prussia of the invasion plans of Custin and the Army of the North. I will keep the Austrians out of Belgium. I am to quickly return to Paris as I sense the fate of our King Louis is about to be decided dishonorably. And it is impossible for me to not intervene. Should you have any missives to give to me, I invite you to go by, as per usual, our friend, Monsieur Peru. Sincerely yours, Charles Francois, blah blah blah, blah General of the Army of the North. Um, okay. That's Jacques Peru. So they're like, the people here are... Yeah, they're all part of people who can influence the world in some way. Okay, I'm saving my points, okay? Oh, what? This one has no extra thing! A fine-looking map of the Orient, indeed. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, this is the same, isn't- Oh, no, it's different. Same person. My dearest Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that it will soon be impossible to ignore pressure from the Russians. The Tsarina Catherine has every intention of supporting the Count of Provenance and will recognize him as the regent of the Kingdom of France once King Louis has disappeared from the political stage. I am sorry to announce bad news, but expect dark times ahead. Your friend, Alfred Bauer. Everyone, like all these letters, they knew that King Louis was going to get executed. Yeah, they knew. It's not a good thing for Mortimer though, it seems. It's locked. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, we can't pick that up. My dear friend, as desired, I have been able to gather together my friends to sign the agreement you proposed. This agreement shall be known as the Buttonwood Agreement. If you recall the place where we gathered when you met us for the first time, you will understand why this name was given. Please find and close a list of my colleagues, Leonard Bleeker, Hugh Smith, Armstrong and Barnwall, Samuel March, Andrew D. Barkley, Benjamin Sakesis, John Henry, John Bush, David Reedy. Thanks to your help, we shall soon be able to meet at my place, the Tontine Coffee House. I look forward to seeing you as soon as possible. Buttonwood Agreement. Like, should I, should I look that up? Is that a thing? What's in wood agreement? Conspiracy! That's one of the autocomplete terms on Google. The Buttonwood Agreement, which took place in 1792, was an effort to organize securities trading in New York City. That preceded the formation of the New York Stock and Exchange Board, now called the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah, so the main point really is that he is involved with every little thing in this world. There's a lot everywhere. 
Oh my god. Okay. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. We do? I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. I didn't seem as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. Well, you're you're making assumptions here, man. What if he's wearing clothes while dancing under the moon? Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards, Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. This is definitely some weird occult thing. Fine, fine. It is a typical draw on a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance, that announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, a chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right, the emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. Okay. There is a drawing of somebody here, too. Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Okay. Lord Mortimer, the tiger is dying. On your demand, I have attacked Travancore and personally cut the throats of as many Englishmen as possible, though without the help from the French. I cannot hold them off any longer. My forces are rapidly diminishing in spite of your new rockets. Help us. Tipu Sahib, Zultan of Mysore. Something strange about this table. The little surgeon's perfect collection. I can't afford to keep looking at everything. Oh! How did we learn he's immune to science? I don't really care how we learned it, but it's good to know. <laughs> the Humani Corporis Fabrica. Sounds like some anatomical book. Come on, this has got to be an order or something. Seminal book, absolute reference on human anatomy. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. You know a lot too, Louis. Actually, you know a lot of whatever's going on here, it seems. A skeleton by the name of Gustav, if the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. <laughs> That's morbid. Oh, you can see the name oh. down there. His right hand is missing. Is it to hold the sword? Dear Lord Mortimer, as agreed, I have changed your old lock for one of my invention. Drawing inspiration from your doctor friend, Mr. Guillotine? Here is a model of your new lock if you appreciate my prototype. Oh, this has got to be a puzzle hint. It is difficult to imagine how it all fits together, but it will be located in the middle of the present door. The aim being to alter nothing of the door's functionality, but to add a bit of spice. Depending on the lineup of the wheels, the aforementioned lock will open, or will punish the snooper whose faith is not strong enough. Whoa! I called my invention the judgment of faith, because if a snooper is unable to resist opening it, they will be punished. I hope you'll appreciate the irony of the situation. Gustave Montrant, Master Architect. It doesn't really tell me how to open it, though. Depending on the lineup of the wheels. Okay, we should be careful then. Is it this? Looks like obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. Ancient artifacts. Strange. I don't recognize the alphabet. I wonder where the pictograms are from. It is an Egyptian or Hebrew. There are two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. No way to know what's underneath. Absolutely no idea what it's for, but I find this cue fascinating. Huh. That's kind of scary. These are feathers. Pigeon, probably. That is a lot of animal skulls. Hmm, that must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. 
An iron mask. I wonder who it's for. I hope it's for decoration and not for anybody. You make it sound like somebody's gonna put it on. Ah, Carmelite water. Better than nothing. Dear Lord Mortimer, be assured of my entire devotion. As agreed, the Vendée peasantry will soon rise up. My network is striving to increase the pressure on the masses. The decision of the assembly, which consists of voting the civil constitution of the clergy, is inflaming the region. The people overwhelmingly reject the priests and swear loyalty to the state. If you could ensure that the convention will administer the final blow to the people, the issue will be resolved. Without wishing to direct you, a forced recruitment for a faraway conflict would be a perfect way to arouse the people def definitively. Your devoted servant, Francois, Athenais, Charette de la Country. Okay. Bunch of political mumbo jumbo. Key with an occult fire symbol. Am I seeing things, or is that an actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. He's immune to science, but we already knew that. Why would that make him immune? He seems like he's on the cutting edge. My dearest friend, our plans are going ahead wonderfully well. The Coinage Act has been voted. Your project of founding the very first Bank of America Oh my god, everything is related to this guy. Should not be delayed and will probably be called Union Bank. As for the construction of the White House, it is still die. Oh, it is still due to begin in October. I will accept no delays. You can trust me on this. I hope to see you soon. Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of State. A table of alchemical elements. So, Lord Mortimer also studies alchemy? It seems like he's interested in everything. He also has zinc circled. Were they just too lazy to get a different picture for that? Or is he also interested in zinc? <laughs> Methodical. <laughs> There's some spelling errors here. I think the team that made this game is French. You thoroughly search Lord Mortimer's study. Oh, cool. There's still lots of stuff left though. Not using that jelly. Not carelessly anyway. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Hey, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Does that mean the other key is here or what? Like, I'm so upset at this. This makes me upset. Let's look around a little bit more. Maybe we'll find the other key here. Though I kind of doubt it. Finding the key in the same room as the lock? That's horrible security. Did we read this one? Yeah. There is so many notes around here. Holy crap. I think this might be it though. Uh yep. Go find your mother. Are we to leave? Are you expecting me to get out of here to find my mother? Maybe. Maybe. We can't even see the hole in that anymore. Um, can we actually go out again? Oh, crap. Oh, shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? No. Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. Find a way out. We have to find another code? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's so many documents in here. It could literally be anything. Oh my goodness. I don't even remember seeing any numbers. I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now. It's locked. Jeez. Okay, okay. Well, there's gotta be a way out. But we've seen everything in here. Have we seen numbers? Wait. Didn't they say that whoever... Like, whoever gets it wrong will be punished. This one? I'll turn nothing of the door's functionality, but to add a little bit of spice. Oh, but this says wheels. 
wheels. <laughs> this is scary. Okay. Well, I don't know how to get out, but preliminarily, I'm thinking maybe I'll just use the... I'll just use a Carmelite water to open the lock here. Because I don't think we'll be coming back in here. Maybe I missed the other half of the fire key somewhere else. God, it's annoying that we need two keys Chest to open things now. Representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Cause this requires seven, so we should be using a Carmelite water. What? I got a key inside. Oh, that's useless. This is useless. This is useless. It gave me a. <laughs> How many keys? How many coins are inside? Holy crap, how many coins were inside? A lot, as it turns out. Like five? Well, the more the merrier. Okay, we gotta try getting out of here. I'm thinking... The number wheel is continuous, right? So if we can get... If we can make it so that the other side is displaying the number that we used to get in, which was... What was it? 1591, I think? Or 1191. Would that work? Or, I was planning on doing it on the other side, but let's just see if 1191 works. Ah, I missed it. 1191. Um, uh oh! This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Think about the lock. Think about the shape. It looks like the same as the one on the other side. I think I got it right. We have to imagine it as being 1191 on the other side. The problem is, it's not the easiest to imagine. <laughs> yeah. But it is only two numbers though, because it's only one and nine. I don't want to try it, because if we get it wrong, we might get hurt, according to that note. I'm trying to think here. Let me... Let me just roll this around a little bit. So one is down there, now one is on the bottom. Now one is on the other side at the bottom. Now one is in the middle. So I think five should correspond to one. Oh, but also it should be 1191 from right to left. 1191. So this should be 5. And then the 9. The 9. Okay, for example. Shoot. This is 9. Yeah. Um. If I move it down here. Yeah. Now 9 is on the other side. So 9 corresponds to 0, hopefully. Would it be 5055 oh, five, five, then? Am I on the right track at all? If you read it from right to left on the other side. Or uh, on the other side, it would be left to right. 1, 1, 9, 1. Is the parrot still alive? This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Oh god. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. If the grid closes a bit more every time I enter a wrong date, I'd, I'd better not mess up again. It doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Yeah, we could get trapped in here. Mmm. Okay, first of all, wasn't 1191 that we used to get inside? <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, 1191. One, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna really quickly check the recording just to make sure it was 1191. Okay, I confirmed. It was 1191, but while I was looking that up, I actually found my mistake too. Because looking at this wheel here, I got visually fooled by this into thinking that this is a um, eight-sided wheel because you see three on this side, 
three on the other side, and then one on the top, one on the bottom. But actually, it's obviously a ten-sided wheel because there's ten digits. So I'm actually pretty sure what I was thinking before was right, but I had the wheel, the number of sides wrong. And with that in mind, if it's actually a ten-sided wheel, I have one nine one one right here from the from right to left, and all we gotta do. Theoretically, should be to move the wheel five times, so we get the one on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. If I didn't make any mistakes in calculation, the one should be on the other side right now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the code is actually. Six four six six, but it looks like a nine because the six is upside down right now. And I really, really hope I did this right. I double and triple checked this by actually drawing out a ten-sided polygon and everything. So if I get it wrong, I would be pretty upset given how much effort I put into this. Mechanism as the one on the other side. Come on, Louis. Yes. Better not dwell on it then. Earlier, we kept hearing "Master of Escape." We kept hearing this freaking bird, but I'm pretty sure that was a bug because obviously mine died already. Okay, well no one's been here. What would have happened if we? I wonder if we would have gone stuck. Oh, that would have been pretty bad because we would have to wait for Mortimer to come back to, <laughs> and he'll know that we were inside. So that would really not be good. We still have the the locked box here. Like, I don't think there was a point in guessing because I really should we though. Like, I feel like I want to, but can I? <sighs> Maybe I'm missing something around here. Four letter word that means a lot to. Can't pick that up. Four letter word that means a lot to Mortimer. Oh. What the. Hey, we never saw this before. When did this change? Oh, the family tree. Oh. Oh yeah, they mentioned earlier that this is Mortimer's family book or something. The first William Alexander Mortimer. He was born in 1131, and distinguished himself during the Third Crusade, during which he rubbed shoulders with Richard the Lionheart. He showed outstanding bravery during the siege of Saint Jean d'Acre. He died in 1211, in the country of Westford, at the age of 80. <laughs> what longevity! Nice. Nothing is mentioned about his wife. It's all about the name Mortimer. Wives don't matter here. The direct descendant of William Alexander Mortimer I was born in 1195, on his father's return from the Crusade. Only son, more discreet than his father. It states that he was widely traveled. He produced only one descendant named William Michael Mortimer. He died in 1275. There's no chapter dedicated to his mother. Well, this family dates back at least 500 years. Lord William Alexander Mortimer. Oh. Lover of the arts and the sciences, he took up politics at an early age. After rapidly becoming influential. He decides to retire from public life in order to organize conferences reserved for the elite, with the aim of finding answers to world problems. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. <laughs> He's also an only son, and the book doesn't mention any known descendant. Well, we haven't seen any wives or kids here, so that seems accurate. All right. For one, the women of the lineage are not mentioned at all. What a cavalier attitude. Right. Let's see, who else is there? It's back in the day, so I really wouldn't be surprised that no women's mentioned here. Only son, a descendant with a singular name. He also took a wife and had only one child, named William again. That is so boring. Why are they all? It's not even the middle name. They made the first name the same and the middle name different. 
Wouldn't it usually be the other way around? Another at random. William Mortimer again. Only son, him too. Born in 1573 and died in 1665. <laughs> the Mortimers live to a ripe old age, that's for sure. Discreet again. The summary states that he was an excellent merchant and that towards the end of his life, he entered politics? All the descendants are called William Mortimer. There have been only male descendants. All of them only sons. Strange. It was uncommon to have only one child in those days, let alone all only sons. How is that possible? It really makes you wonder if all those sons really are official descendants. I'm smelling something shady here. So Louis thought, oh, maybe all the sons are adopted. But the first thing that came into my head was actually China's one-child policy. Maybe they just didn't document it here. Hard to tell though, that does seem kind of fishy. Oh. Okay. There's a lot of sub-menus in this one. Well, well. History of the Mortimer lineage. Looks like his ancestors have always sought to improve society and have had an open attitude towards the arts. This seems to be the list of grants and sponsorships given by the Mortimer family. Oh my god, there's so many! <gasps> in 1489, the Mortimer family participates in the purchase of the Caravel Santa Clara from Juan Nino, ship owner on behalf of Don Luis de la Cerda. The vessel will be renamed La Nina. Like the storm? <laughs> I'm not wasting points, okay? I know this is useless. In 1567, the Mortimer family financed the brickworks in Qinhongdao in China, fitted out with 51 furnaces three and a half meters high, in guise of a protocol gift for Long King, the emperor of the Ming Dynasty. But that brickworks helped maintain the Great Wall. Yeah, see, that's absolutely useless. <laughs> uh, like, you know, progressing the story-wise. It's a very nice piece of information to learn about, but not one I'm willing to trade away at effort point for. In 1645, the Mortimer family allocated a pension to be passed down the generations to the Nerac family from Bordeaux, ship owners and refiners from father to son, a family known for their expeditions to Africa and America. Three families, and all three of them are from different places so far. Really different places. From 1235 to 1280, the Mortimer family granted an annual pension to Albert the Great, Archbishop of Regensburg, in order to fund his research in the writing of the Mirabilibus Munsi, books about the wonders of the world. More? In 1513, the Mortimers financed the expedition of Ponce de Leon to the New World. That was the expedition that resulted in the discovery of Florida, in fact. Again, I think all this information here is just to say that, oh my god, Mortimer's family, super influential, went back at least 500 years, had ties all over the world with everybody, everybody loves them, they're the greatest, Illuminati. In 1772, Lord Mortimer made a donation of 112,000 pounds to the attention of Achille Basmarin, major ship owner of Bordeaux, for the construction of a ship, the Clary. 112,000 pounds? Even $112,000 today is a lot. Back then? Oh my god. In 1635, the Mortimer family sponsored the Academy of Mersenne for 30 years in Paris for works in the sciences and in philosophy. That was generous, but <laughs> not entirely selfless when you think about Blaise Pascal who developed the first calculating machine at the same time. I guess the other thing is that they seem to be responsible for a lot of major events happening over the course of history too. From 1685 to 1720, the Mortimer family allocated an annual pension to Denis Papin for his brilliant works in pneumatics and hydraulics. That reminds me of spectacular experiments such as his first submarine, which didn't end all that well if I remember correctly. And Mortimer is amazing, but really, so is Louis, for knowing all of this. In 
1550, the Mortimer family financed half of the construction of St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow by way of protocol gift for Ivan IV Vasilievich, one of the most beautiful religious buildings ever built. Mm. Well, that's that. Holy crap, we basically read the whole book. Did we analyze it? No, no, let's not. We know it's gonna be like random crap again. It's not... It's not gonna be useful. <laughs> Okay, well... Mm. Dante's Purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub? The yeah. worm before it's attained its final form. Charming. Yeah, there's really not much anywhere. Okay, let's go find the sword left by my mom. Oh! I met Manuel Godoy. I got some information out of Von Volner. I found the nightmare that my mother mentioned. Oh no! <laughs> I got to know Waldo. Is that its name? I found a way of getting into the secret study. I got out of Mortimer's secret study without any trouble. I could have met Peru under strange circumstances. Ooh. But I poisoned Waldo, the bird in Mortimer's office. <laughs> it was a necessary sacrifice. I'm sorry. Ooh, you get... You get points for getting, uh, exploiting vulnerabilities, too. Oh, but you don't get points for finding immunities. So we should be finding vulnerabilities whenever we can. Okay. Okay, four points. I definitely want subterfuge, but I'm sure we have a book here that does that for us. Right here. Yes. Yes. One. So I think we can just add two points here. And then get the other one from the book. And then two points. Where else do I want to put it? Here? Conviction? Vigilance. Agility. How am I doing on agility? Agility is the, the running icon. I think looking at the icons is an easier way to look at all these books. I don't have any agility books. Okay. Hmm... Yeah, I mean, I don't... You you don't know what's going to be relevant later on. Like, you don't know which skills are going to be useful. So it's kind of... Yeah, this is good for talking, but I think I would need to... Let's get this. We are a detective after all. Let's have one branch kind of filled out with level 2s first. Yeah, and then one more point, we will put it in... I'm thinking after level 2, I'm pretty much just going to let it naturally level up, if that's okay. It's gonna take a while. Agility... I feel like we haven't needed... Reaching for stuff high up in high places, is that agility? It could be. Might as well. Okay. 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 Subterfuge. If I check this, yes, that means we get level 2. And then anything else? We don't have any politics books. What about conviction? Conviction is a speech bubble. No, we got psychology, erudition, manipulation, occultism. Occultism might be a good one to invest in, seeing as how things are getting kind of... It's kind of getting weird around here. But we have a lot of questioning books. Questioning, we are... Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good on this one already. Don't think we need to prioritize reading those books. Okay. Let's go with science, psychology. Is that one that? No, that's, um, yeah, that's that one. Diversion, occultism. Oh, oh, I can only equip two this time. I thought I could equip three before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could, but I don't know what changed here. Oh, no, it's because I already equipped subterfuge. Yeah. Okay, well, that is that. 